Let's look at the molecular geometry for CH3Cl. This is chloromethane, also called methyl chloride. So to start out with, we want to look at the Lewis structure here for CH3Cl. And we can see we have our central carbon there, and then we have four atoms bonded to it. One, two, three, four, and we don't have any lone pairs. So these four things, that's our steric number. One, two, three, four. We go down to four, and we don't have any lone pairs. We have what's called a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And these bond angles, they should be about 109.5 degrees. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So the central atom, that'll be the carbon. Then we're going to put three hydrogen atoms on. One, two, three. You see how they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other? And then we have that one chlorine atom. Let's add that. And now we end up with them all spread out as far away as they can from each other. We have what's called a tetrahedral molecular geometry. If we look at the bond angles, they should be about 109.5. This is a general number. Because we have that chlorine and it's much larger than the hydrogens, we might see a slightly different bond angle down here. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So we said we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry for CH3Cl. In this case, the electron geometry will be the same as well, since we don't have any lone pairs on the central carbon here. We can also use the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry for CH3Cl. A, that's the central atom. That's the carbon there. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to the carbon. We have one, two, three, four atoms. And then E, that's the number of lone pairs on that carbon. But there aren't any lone pairs. All of these electrons, they're involved in chemical bonds. So E would be zero, and often we just don't write that. If you look up AX4 on a table of molecular geometries, you'll find out it is tetrahedral, just like we found before. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for chloromethane, also known as methyl chloride. Thanks for watching.